Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to respond to the comments that we have received in the previous video. So I think last to last week, we had uh, uploaded a video on Infosys testing interview questions. And there were certain questions whose answers were a bit, uh, you know, not straightforward. So those were tricky questions. So we are going to answer those questions and apart from that there is uh, one question that we would also like to answer so in this video we would be covering the scenario based testing interview questions right how do you deal with such kind of questions and it's not related to Infosys or any other company see these questions you might get in any company in any technical round what they would be interested is how you have dealed or how will you deal in this situation now every time the answer cannot be the same it depends on what uh, level it depends on the role it depends on what kind of project you were involved in when you got this kind of situation right so it's a situational based question so accordingly the answer might change it might tweak based on uh, you know individual experience and expertise okay so uh, we will be looking into the answers of these questions but before that if you're watching this video for the very first time then please do hit like share and subscribe our channel it takes a lot of efforts to create such kind of videos right okay uh, now the question is describe a situation where you had to perform root cause analysis for a critical production issue how did you identify the underlying cause and prevent similar issues in the future okay so there is two things right it is about how have you dealt with the situation and it is also about thinking of the future that this situation has not been repeated so let's look at the first aspect describe a situation now in an interview even if you haven't come across this situation right then also think what could be such kind of a situation what could be such kind of a scenario okay so take your time for thinking and you can request interviewer, uh, sir, I need one or two minutes to think on this question. There is nothing harm. What he would do is he would give you the time, right? One or two minutes is not a big deal. So that's fine. You should think and then you should answer. Okay. Now over here, you can um, share about some situation where uh, uh, there was a production issue. So the client has raised the issue they have escalated it and they have marked it as critical also okay now it might would have happened um, that uh, let's consider the situation here is that it's a security testing bug okay what they have found is um, they have found some vulnerabilities in the application that you have already released to them which is already live right so they might would have done some security testing and now they have got some bug now let's take one step deep bigger into you know one more step ahead in this um the the security testing bug that they have found reveals one of the password to be in the plain text right so they are using some tools which are available for security testing bob suit is one of the example and they have come to know that uh, the password is displayed in plain text in some particular web page right so they have created this issue in Jira and they have assigned it to you. Now you are supposed to do root cause analysis, right? So you will analyze this situation. What you will do is um, it's a security testing bug. So you will also try to reproduce. If it is a straightforward reproducible, fine. If it's not, then you will connect with the development team, right? And it's not only about security. So it's not only about non-functional issues. Sometimes functional issues are also like this. So in case of if it's a security testing bug, then you will use those kind of tools. You will use those kind of environment which customer is using. You might take the permission to copy the data from uh, the production to your test environment or some other environment in which you are allowed or permitted to test, right? Now, the second aspect is if it's a functional issue. So how will you get the, uh, you know, details is, you can analyze the logs, right? Logs are nothing but those are the files which are generated, which has the trace of each and every action that is performed on the application, right? So that's how you will perform root cause analysis, right? You will analyze, 
okay for this particular scenario this thing is happening on this particular web page the vulnerability is happening for this particular user for this xyz rights this particular situation is happening this particular test case is not working right that's how you will deal that's how you will drill down the scenario it it would not be a generic scenario see for this interview question it cannot be a generic scenario like login itself is not working no man it's something which has actually uh, you know missed by you and at the same time you have to make it critical because something obvious if you will tell in an interview oh this got missed by me then he will also what kind of a tester you are that you are not able to uh, you know find obvious issues so such kind of uh, mindset will go so you have to come up with some critical scenarios for some particular user on some particular web page for some particular access rights for some particular uh, you know functionality so that's how so avoid telling generic level of issues during this kind of a situation right okay now how did you identify the underlying cause okay so now how did you identify the causes you set with the development team and the entire team so in an agile the developer and tester and might be the product manager or project manager they will also sit all everyone will review the code right let's say you are not having 100 percent idea of what has been written in the code but at least you will have some idea based on the logic okay if else would have been kept here here he could have kept switch case here he should have kept loop here he should not have used this that kind of logical discussion you are aware right so that's how you will collaborate with them and you will find out the cause how will you prevent the similar issues in the future so there are two things one is you will add the scenario into your test case bucket okay second thing is when this is fixed you will also identify you will investigate you will uh, collaborate about the impacted areas you will uh, discuss with the development team about uh, um, the unit testing if they can incorporate in their code right at the same time if you have automation then we'll try to create some automation uh, script touching this scenario so that's how you will explain right so this is how you can answer in an interview for this question okay now second thing how do you ensure effective communication and collaboration between qa development and other cross functional teams the above thing the above question which was uh, you know which we just discussed see this is as per my mindset as per my knowledge if you feel that some better answer could be there so please feel free to drop in the comment section of this video right um, that's totally fine see we are here to share to help the people who are looking for jobs and who are already doing jobs we want them to excel in their career right so there is nothing harm if you have some other point of view you can put down in the comment section of the video right now the first question describe a situation this can be asked to you in a technical round of interview the second question how do you ensure effective communication and collaboration this will be asked to you in the management kind of a interview round why so see in technical round people are more interested in what technical knowledge what expertise you have in managerial round they will be more interested to see how do you deal with the team how do you see yourself as an individual contributor how do you see yourself as a team contributor right so what is your role in the team there are some people who think they can do everything right so in an it company such things are not possible when teams are there then definitely the magic will happen right how do you ensure effective communication now if you need effective communication is there then in agile the best thing is to have sync up calls to have daily stand up meetings so every day in the morning you can have some 10 to 15 minutes of stand up meetings in which you actually discuss you connect with the cross functional teams right and you discuss with them three to four pointers which are very necessary uh, what is in the plate for you today what is the priority if there is any escalation you can discuss those things if there is any action item which needs to be answered or which needs to be responded by end of the day today itself then that needs to be discussed so that's how the collaboration the communication you will put now see here every time 
the pointers are not to be supposed with QA. Okay, fine. You do this test case. You do this test case scenario. You do this uh, test case execution. No. When they ask you this question, they also mean that sometimes you have to connect among yourselves and you have to give the high level estimation to the third party that what time would you take to complete this scenario. So this kind of uh, answer you have to give. So you will collaborate via sync up calls. If someone is the lead from some other team is absent, you will drop an email and you will connect with an immediate next person who is there, senior person who is there in the team. And after the discussion, you will send an email with looping him, the, the person with which you discussed also the his manager who was on leave so that tomorrow when he's back so he's aware about the discussion that has already happened right so uh, sharing the minutes of meetings then right mom and uh, updating everyone with the effective email if you are having jira then you can also put a comment right that this has been discussed on so particular date with these particular members online available Right? So that's how you can collaborate. That's how you have to ensure the communication. See, not only you have to communicate, but you have to effectively communicate. That means sometimes we just communicate. Okay. Okay. I told you, you have to execute this. Okay. I have written this test case, but effective communication is when the, when the other side of communication channel is also open, they are also discussing with you. You are also discussing with them. Right? So that's how it happens. Right. So these are few of the scenario based questions that were put in the comment section of the previous video, which answers were, uh, you know, expected from the viewers. Right. So thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.